here. We'll take one deep breath in and out. And we'll look head, turn side and side. Side and side. Turn and look. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Tummy muscles in. And head forward, ear to the shoulder. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Good. So two big shoulder circles up, around, and back. Exaggerate those. Get your shoulder blades moving. Loosen up your upper back a little bit here. One more. All right, let's take it into a march or a little jog up to you. So I let my son kind of write tonight's workout. Uh, so we'll see how he did. I, I adjusted it quite a bit, but <laughs> we'll let him go with his outline first. <laughs> And step apart, we're gonna go big arm circles back. So we'll see how you guys read it. <laughs> and other side. And hands together, let's rock. And let's go into our X and our Y. X and our Y. You can fold forward a little bit on the X. And open up at the Y. Good. One more. And then we'll go into our kick back. So we'll kick and kick. Keep those knees kind of soft. Keep those soft bends at those knees. When you're ready, you can add that pull. Whew. Where half the time I mess it up. <laughs> Keep it going. Three, two, and one. We're going to turn it into our grapevine. Cross it over. Open it up. Cross behind. Open up. Go as quick or as slow as you want to go with this one. One more little lap here. And relax. Good. All right. So for our workout today, in part one, we have four exercises. We're going to have a steady exercise and then a little quicker exercise. A steady exercise and then a little quicker exercise. Exercise one, you can take a weight or a band. Whichever one you prefer, I'll show both options. So if you're taking a band, we're going to get into a squat position. So we're going to step on the band, give it enough tension that when you pull up towards your belly button, 
you've got some tension. Don't let it be really loose. So you can adjust how you step on it. If you have the one with the handles, you can just open it up, step right in front of the handle and hold on to it there. You're gonna get down into a squat position. So we're gonna sit our hips back. It can be a small squat right here, or it can be a low squat down here. But remember, we're trying to keep our upper body as upright as we can and bring our hips down. We're gonna pull some tension on that band so that it's just above our belly button. And then we're gonna go for a big stir. We're gonna stir around, big circle around. And then I'll tell you when we switch directions. You can also do that with a weight, up to you. You can be in that low position, that, that, weight, that um, squat position, tummy muscles in, and then take that big stir with the weight, up to you. It really depends on what weight you have at home, you know, what kind of resistance you want. <clears throat> Exercise two, we're gonna go into a, um, either a step out jack or we have a little cross jack. So we've got our regular step out jack that looks like this, right? Regular jack that looks like this, tap and tap. Or um, you can do a little cross jack. So it looks like this. You're gonna open and cross, open and cross, open and cross, open and cross. Up to you. If you feel like adding the real jump part, you could just do your regular jumping jacks or add that open and cross. Up to you. If you want to not jump, you go into your taps and tap. Okay, but we'll get our heart rate going a little bit more on that one. Exercise three, we're going to grab a band. We're going to bring it behind our shoulders. So I'm wrapping it, and mine's a um, loop band, which just makes it a little bit more complicated. So you're just going to take one band and wrap it around your shoulders, behind your back, tuck it under your elbow. You're gonna hold it with a little tension. So you don't want it too loose there. So if it's, um, if you've got the handles, it may be too loose to hold the handles. You may have to hold in front and hold it with a little bit more tension. From there, we're gonna take a step forward or a full lunge forward with a chest press. So the arm part, the elbows are staying high and we're pushing forward, like a big punch forward. Big punch, straight for my shoulders, big punch, Big punch. So that's what the arms are doing. The legs are going to take either a step forward with a bent knee and switch, or a full lunge where both knee, both knees bend. Both knees bend. You just want to take a really good size step if you're taking it into that lunge, so that you don't put too much pressure on your knee. If you take too small of a step and you try to bend both knees, you might put too much pressure on your front knee. So just make sure if you're doing the full lunge, you take that large step, okay? Um, exercise four, we're gonna take it into an elevated mountain climber. So you can be up against the wall, you can be against the couch, the stairs, um, a chair, whatever works for you. And we're gonna get into that plank position. And then we're going to bring a knee up. So it's like a quick march. So we're gonna go knee up, knee up. Knee up, knee up. But you can notice as I'm going that I'm not wiggling my hips back and forth. My hips are staying down and low and I'm marching and marching. If you've been with us quite some time and you're really feeling stable with that exercise and with your core, you can take that mountain climber even quicker. Like this. But that's only if you've been with us quite some time and you're really feeling secure in your plank. Um, so those are our exercises for part one. Does everybody feel like you have exercises that work for your body? Yeah, awesome. All right, so we're gonna get started with that stir of the pot exercise. You can grab your band or your weight, whichever you feel better with. And we'll get going here in three, two, one. With a quick, quick start. Good. So get into that squat position. Try to stay tall through your upper body. And we're making that big circle. Big circle. Trying to stay right about our belly button level. Good. Let's switch directions. 
Switch it around the other way. Good, and try to make that big circle. Straighten those arms all the way. Get all the way around. Three, two, one. And relax, good. This one we're going into next is our jack. So it's either that little jump, if you want to add the little jump, or your step out jack, up to you. Three, two, one. Here we go. one. Good, keep it going. We're halfway, keep it going. Five more seconds, you got it. Three, two, one. And relax, woo! <laughs> Grab your band, wrap it behind your back. That's the most awkward part. <laughs> Get it under your armpit. And then you're just holding on to the side of it. Two, one. Here we go. We step and press. And step and press. You can take it into that full lunge or just the step. Good. Try to keep your body upright on this one as well. And you go at whatever pace feels good for you. It's gonna vary if you're taking that step or that lunge and how you're feeling. Three, two, one. And relax, good. We're going into our mountain climber here next. So we're getting into our elevated surface. You can take it nice and steady. We're just going to start to get set. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Try to keep your hips as steady as you can. Good, looks great. Keep it going, we got less than 15 seconds. Three, two, one. And relax, good. We're back to the stir of the pot. Exercise at the top. Grab your band or your weight. Whichever works for you. Get some tension. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice stir, one. big stir. Good. Try to stay pretty upright here. Good. And switch it the other direction. It's funny how we always seem to pick the one direction first. Big circles. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. And relax. We're going into our jack here next. Getting started in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Good, keep it going, looks great.
Ten more seconds. You got to Keep it up. Keep up your pace. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. Grab your band. We're looping it behind our back. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise big press one. and step. Big press and step. Like a big punch. Straighten those arms like a big punch. Big punch. Good. Big breath out as you punch. Keep your body up. Looks good. Three, two, one, rest. And relax. All right, we're back to our mountain climber here. Getting started in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Nice and steady with your march. Keep your hips steady. Keep breathing. Fifteen more seconds. You got it. Keep it going. We got 15 more seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. Grab your band. Going back for that chest press. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise one. Big punch. You want to work it a little harder, keep those elbows up.
Inflare. Almost there. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. We're back to our mountain climber. Starting to get set. Three, two, one. Here we Exercise go. One. Knees up, knees up. Pull your core in. Keep those hips as steady as you can. Ignore the dog barks. <laughs> Ten more seconds, you got it. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, we're here on our last round. Part one's a little longer today with four exercises. Three. One. Here we go. Exercise one. And switch directions. Big circles. You got it. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, we're going into our jacks here next. Three. One. Here we go. Exercise one. My daughter and I have been watching these videos. I think it's called Flavor City or Flava City um, with a guy who has like an 18 month old daughter and they've been making like healthy recipes. The 18 month old is like the star of the show, but. <laughs> Every time we do these stir the pot or exercises like that, makes me think of our little videos we've been watching. Super cute. Three, two, one. And relax. We're grabbing our band for that chest press. Get started here. One. Here we go. Exercise one. Big punch. Big breath out. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. We're back to our mountain climber. Last exercise of part one. Getting started in five. Three, two. One. Here we go. Exercise one. Knee up, knee up. Keep your head up in neutral. That helps your upper back stay nice and straight. Ten 
more seconds. You got it. Three, two, one. And relax. Woo! That was part one. Skylar did a sweaty one. <laughs> Grab yourself a sip of water. Take a breather. We'll get ourselves set for part two. Reset my timer here. So for part two, there's two options. To keep it easier, you can stay elevated, and I'll show those options. If you want to make it harder, we'll go down on the floor, and I'll show those options. So let me go through those first. Get a sip of water myself. All right, so if you're staying tall, if you're staying upright, we're going to do an elevated push-up. So you can do that against the wall, you can do that against your bench, your chair, whatever option you've been using for your mountain climber. You can do that elevated push-up. If I was against the wall, I'd step my feet back, I'd lift my heels, I'd get myself to where um, I feel comfortable, I'm gonna drop in and push away. Drop in and push away. To note, my whole body's coming in and my whole body's pushing out. It's not snaking where my head tries to go first and then my hip. It all goes in and it all pushes away. Same thing if I was over here. Big long body in and big push. All comes together. It's tricky, so just do as many as you can. It's a, we're going to do a 40 second timer, but if your body is standing enough, give yourself some extra rest. Exercise two, we'll do the same thing. If we're down on the floor, we're going to do the same thing, but you can go from your knees, push your hips forward. Don't let them stay back here, but push your hips forward. We're going to slowly come down to that push up and big push away. So, same thing. It's just a little harder from the floor. Exercise two, um, my son calls them gorilla taps, but we do our shoulder taps. So, if you're elevated, you're going to be against the wall or against your surface in your plank position. And we're going to do tap and tap, tap and tap. So from the front, it looks like this, tap and tap, tap and tap. If you're down on the floor, we're going to stay on our knees, push our hips forward and tap, tap, tap. Out. It's much harder. You really have to control your core. You can't let your hips wiggle. It makes it a little bit harder of a motion. Exercise three, if you're staying up, we're going to do a seated Russian twist. We're going to grab one weight. We're going to sit up nice and tall, sit on the front edge of something. Scoot your body back a little bit. So you can see I'm keeping my back straight in the regular position that it's in, and I'm leaning back just slightly. I'm keeping the weight in front of my body, and I'm taking a small twist side and side. So I'm keeping my core nice and tight and going nice and easy side and side. If we're down on the floor, we're going to do the same thing, but down on the floor. So you're sitting on your tush. You're trying to sit on like those sit bones, like the very bottom part of your pelvis, trying to stay as tall as you can. You can bring your feet a little wider if you want, or narrow, whatever's up, whatever works for you. You're gonna bring your heels down and your toes up. You're gonna keep that weight in front of your chest. You're gonna lean back with a straight back and take that controlled twist. So it's the same thing, whether you're up or down, it just makes it a little easier if you're staying up. Everybody feel like you have exercises that work for your body in part two? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. We're going to get started with our push-ups is the first one. Remember, if you need to take extra rest on this one, take your extra rest, okay? We're going to get going here in three, two, one. Exercise.
You've got 10 more seconds. If you need the rest, take it. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. The next one we're doing is those shoulder taps. So if you're down on the floor, we're going onto our knees. We're doing those shoulder taps. If you're up, same thing. Climb into our shoulder taps. Three, Starting to get that. Here we go. Tap and tap. Tap and tap. Try to keep your core as still as you can. <laughs> I saw a cat tail and then I got total cat body. <laughs> Good. Keep breathing. Got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. We're going into our Russian twist here next. So you're grabbing your weight. Oh, I forgot to say, you can do this without a weight if you want to also. Just hands together in front of you. Three, Slightly lean back. Exercise. Twist and twist. Nice and controlled. Keeping that weight right in front of your chest. And the weight goes with your body. Good. Looks great. Keeping your back nice and straight. Pull that core in. Almost Three, there. Two, one. And relax. Good. We're back to our push ups. Getting started in less than five. Two, one. Here we go. Big push. Low, lower, and then big push. Good. Less than 10 seconds if you need the break. Three. Two, one. And relax. We're going into our shoulder taps next. Our gorilla taps, as my son calls them. We're going to start to get set. Three, two, one. Here we go. Tap and tap. Try to keep your hips as controlled as you can. As little shift as you can. You're going to shift your body weight just slightly, but it's just a little bit. Good. Pull those core muscles in. Keep breathing. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. We're back to our Russian twist. We lost Karen. She froze at the last Russian twist. Three. Start to get chat here. One. Exercise. Good. You can keep this motion small. Relax your shoulders.
Deep breathe in. Less than 10 seconds, you got it. Keep that weight right in front of your chest. Two, one. And relax. We've got one more round here. Back to our push up. Starting to get set. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise. Ten more seconds if you need that extra rest. Three, two, one, rest. Be left. You guys are doing great. Glad I didn't write an easy one. <laughs> Start to get set for your gorilla tap here. Three, two, one. Here we go. Tap. And tap. Ten more seconds, you got it. Three, two, one, and relax. Back to our Russian twist. This is our last exercise before we get a good stretch. Weight is in front of our chest. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise. Small twist, nice and controlled. Pull that core in. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. Chest is open. Shoulders are down. And I'll stop. <laughs> You got it. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. All right, we're going to stretch. If you're down on the floor, we're going to bring one knee to our chest. If you're up in the chair, you can do the same exact thing. You can bring one knee into your chest. Take a couple deep breaths in. Just start to calm your breathing. Breathe nice and deep. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. And switch sides. Other knee in towards your chest. Slow down your breathing. Good. We're going to go into a hamstring stretch here. We're going to bring that leg up straight if you're lying down. If you're seated, you're just placing that leg out straight. Heel is down, toe is up. You're leaning your body forward with a straight back and getting that stretch behind your thigh. Take a few deep breaths. Good, and then we'll switch sides. Okay, 
kind of a medium stretch here behind your thigh. Three deep breaths. Good. We'll bring our feet flat on the floor. If we're on the floor, we're going to cross one leg over. Same thing if we're seated. We're going to grab hold of our knee and pull it across towards our opposite shoulder. Yep, getting that good push stretch. Good. Couple deep breaths here. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Good. Switch sides. Good. Let's take our time and make our way up to sitting if we're on the ground. If you're already there, you can start to roll your shoulders up, around, and back. You can start to bring them up, around, and back. Up, around, and back. Of course, if you're on the floor and you prefer to sit in a chair, you can certainly do so. We're going to reach one arm up, 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 and over like we're reaching to the opposite corner of the ceiling. Stay nice and tall, taking two deep breaths in. Good. Open it up. Bring the other side up, 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 and over. Big reach. Good. Bring it down. Roll your shoulders back. We're going to bring our hands together behind our back and open up our chest. Get a good stretch in our chest from the front of our shoulders. We work those shoulders today. Good. Let's take three slow arm circles backwards. And then the other side, nice and slow. And on the third one, take it across your body and gently tug, keep that shoulder nice and low. Good. Good. Let's reach that hand up and behind our back, keeping our head up as much as we can. Grab that elbow and gently tug it back, getting a good tricep stretch here. And then upper arm. Good. Open it up. Bring the other side across your body first. Good. Reach that arm up. Pat yourself on your back. Keep your head up. Gently pull that elbow back. Good. Bring it down. Relax your shoulders. We're going to bring one ear towards our shoulder. We can give a little tug if we want to. And other side, ear towards the shoulder, little tug if you want it. Make sure that other shoulder's nice and relaxed. Good. We'll bring our hands down. We're going to take two deep breaths together. We'll breathe in and out and in and out. Good job. Excellent work this evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you think we should hire Skylar or fire Skylar. <laughs>